hey guys so in this video i'm going to show you how to create a simple button in html right now as simple as it sounds usually it trips up a lot of beginners who are just starting out with css and html and then it, it's all this <clears throat> scary thing that hey, how do i create this button or they think it's like so so advanced or something so complicated but really creating a button is very simple right and and this is also going to be the format going forward for some of the videos on the channel right uh, beyond the 15 minutes 20 minutes one hour two hour tutorial videos i'll also be doing a lot of uh, very short format videos you know five things that you can do in five ten minutes all right to explain some basic 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 concepts all right so let's get started with it so over here i have code pen open right so i'm just going to create a simple button html tag right i'll see um i'll call it simple button right okay so sorry all right so by default the browser renders a simple button with some styles right now this button can look different depending on the browser you are looking at it on now i'm looking at this on google chrome in edge you look a bit different in firefox to look a bit different right but basically going ahead to styling it um the styling the css that you write you can apply it the same across all the browsers okay so it's really simple okay so i'm going to apply a, a simple style here a class sorry i'll call this um, simple button okay so simple button right now usually when i'm styling a button i first like to the first thing i like to do is to change the pattern <laughs> i don't know i like i like the whole space around the button thing so i'm going to uh select this simple button and then i'll give it a pattern of let's say one rem okay so with this pattern uh this uh, you know to use padding and margins and stuff like that you really really need to understand the css box model right if you don't understand the css box model properly it can really trip you up so uh, if you want to understand you can go back to my video on uh, fundamentals of css right my introduction to css tutorial course and then watch it i explain the box model over there so the box model is very important how are margins applied how are patterns applied you know borders and all that very 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 important okay so i have this simple button now already even with even with this style right the button is sort of looking a bit better than what we had at first and i, I love patterns a lot right okay so let's see uh we have some default styles on it already now our uh, next thing is i'm going to remove the the border from it or maybe make it yeah i'm going to remove the border from it so i'll say maybe border transparent okay to make it look a bit more yeah i like this um we could also do something like uh, or we could maintain the, the black border right i'm just thinking through this on the fly so we can say maybe border 2px or 3px solid black okay let's see how this looks. yeah okay this is okay for now all right and then um let me see whether we can also add some width to it so i'll say maybe 200 pixels width right uh yeah this this is okay and then also um we want to size that anytime the mouse moves over it we get that pointy finger right so we say keza pointer sorry i think i will type this keza pointer so that we have that button fill over there right so i, I think that button is already looking uh better way better right now okay so now let's let's do something about the color right um let's give you a background color of um let's say a nice shade of blue okay so i'm just going to find a nice color picker i'm going to google a nice color picker and most of the time as a developer you should be doing a lot of color picking uh with these most of these sites okay so ah they've even given me a nice bluish sort of color over here so i'm going to pick the copy that and then i'm going to paste it here okay yeah so this this gives me that vibe now the black uh on the blue background yeah depending on the design you are doing uh yeah this could look good right this has its own unique vibe and all this could actually look good there are some sites that have very weird combination of colors or you can also decide to make it a color of white okay uh 
you know what actually doing this i feel like the the black is actually nicer than the white i like the black right but the thing is that the the font of this button is not looking very good right so what i'm going to do is let's try getting a, a nice font from let's say google fonts right see whether we can put that in so i'm going to type google fonts here and then let's try finding a font something nice right something nice um there's a whole lot of interesting fonts over here uh let me see hmm what do we pick what do we pick what do we pick what do we pick um okay let's try this and see this this has some very nice vibe so let's try this and see what's it can it all right so i'm going to use the import version so i'll copy this right uh from family is this no this is not can it this is selecting one serat i think i need to choose this uh styles how do i remove this um can it can it can it Ah, see, I had to um, reopen search for Google fonts again before this pops up. This popped up here. I'm not, I'm not sure why Google is doing that though, but uh, it's weird, right? Okay, so import. Yeah, so now I can copy this import style from here and then go back to my CSS, right? And then right on top over here, I can fix that here. Okay, so I have the import. And now I have to uh, give it the font family. My button, the font family of it's called Canet. I've never actually heard of this font before. It it actually looks. I mean, it sounds really good. Canet, and uh, then we'll give it a four back font of Sans Series. Sans Series, sorry. Okay, All right. So uh, yeah, I like this. Um, let's make the font size. Uh, let's say two. Let's say one rem two. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, this this is really looking really really good. I like this uh, as compared to what we started with. Uh, and then let's also give some border radius. Okay, so where we want to curve the borders at the edges, right? So you can see border radius of, let's say, 8px, you know, to give it some. Yeah, this is really looking like a nice button. I actually really like this a lot. I like this a lot. So I'm um, now. Uh, the whole static vibe where when you put the mouse over the button, nothing happens. It's not really good UI. Okay, so we need a simple response of sort when we hover over the button or something to change. So I'm just wondering what we can do over here. Maybe when we hover over this, we could have, we could change the background color to, let's say, a lighter version of this. Uh, or maybe we can make it white and blue, something. You, you know, let's just, let's just try something. So you can have dot simple button hover, right? And then you can have maybe background color white. Okay. So this hover is like it's a studio selector, right? So once you hover over it, you get that, you know, you get this effect. And this is like really, really nice, right? Um, yes, so you can make the color also blue. So I can copy this. And then we'll sort of invert the background. So we have this. Yeah, this is also this is also nice. Okay. And uh this is you know the effect, the hover effect is a bit too sharp. So what we can do is we can add a transition to the button. Okay, say so maybe all 0.3 seconds ease. Okay, right. So so this is the animation, the transition animation. Uh the all you are saying that hey, apply the transition to everything that is changing over here so when you say all the transition will be applied to both the background color anything that is changing you find the effect uh you find a transition effect right but you can also decide to apply a transition on a particular property this time around i want to make sure that whatever i'm changing on hover is it, the transition is applied to everything so that it looks like really smooth okay now the reason why we apply the transition on the button and not on hover is that when you apply the transition on the hover, when the thing is coming back to its normal state, it looks very, it snaps. Okay, so look at this. So you see on hover, it sort of applies the transition perfectly. But when I remove it, you see it snaps. Okay, so it, it doesn't go back to its default state smoothly. So some of the reasons why we apply it here on the element itself. Okay, that way 
once you apply a transition and you move the mouse, you realize that it goes back to its normal uh, state very smoothly. Okay, so this is a simple CSS button. Uh, we, we've not done so many schemes. There's a lot you can do on, uh, with, with buttons. There's a lot of hover effects and hover styles and whatnot, right? But I'm going to keep it simple this way. And I hope you learned a lot. So just a quick recap. We started with a simple uh, raw default HTML button. We added some patterns to it to make it look good. And then uh, we, we added a border, 3px, solid black, right? And then we gave it a width. Right. In, in in the real world, you'd want this width to be a bit responsive, okay? Cause so that like maybe on smaller screens, you'd want the width to be a bit smaller, or you want it to be uh, to automatically shrink in size, okay? So you apply some additional styles, and then also the case of a pointer for this hand gesture that we have over there, and then we added some uh, background color, right? Give it some border radius over here. And then a transition okay and then we uh we then proceeded to add in the hover effect okay so i hope you were able to learn i, I just really play around with this try to need the colors you know increasing the but uh, increase the border uh, the border style the border width uh, try playing around with the colors you know create more buttons okay to see how it looks and you no know, buttons are such an important part uh of every website you we we cannot do with buttons okay so master it uh, be confident with it try to sort of duplicate buttons that you see on other websites right once you keep doing that it's, it's really going to help you play around with it and trust me become a master at it all right so thank you for sticking with me in this tutorial okay so i hope you join me in the next one it's bye for now